Hi, I'm Caitlin Gomez here at the GBCA Broadcast Studio, and I'm excited to be with Olaf. Oleg Nadenov. I got, got it right it. before and then right you see, I told under you, pressure. Don't I cracked under times. pressure already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here. So yesterday at GBTA's Media Day, you, no you announced a new chat box feature. So can you tell me a little bit more about that and how it's going to affect visa processing going forward? Yes. Uh, well, as they say, uh, uh, it's uh, very difficult to make predictions, especially about the future. So. Uh, um, the way uh, we see it is, uh, if you think about the visa, it's, uh, it's a very important piece of paper, but it's a still a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And uh, our focus all these years has been uh, not on the paper, but on human beings. And uh, um, if uh, um, you think about our footprint now, so Visa HQ is in 12 countries and uh, we service over 2 billion uh, people, the population, the dollars population of those countries combined would be two billion. So even if we take one half uh, of someone who travels, so we come down to one billion. And uh, uh, our our philosophy is to give that personalized one-on-one -on -one service. So to, to do that, you need to hire one billion people to work for you to mm -hmm. give that service. So that's where we see the chatbot actually doing that tailored service to all those one billion people or maybe more. So giving you that ability to reach out to people Absolutely. in a more personal way yes. while still maintaining the resources. Absolutely, because uh, each application is a unique case, mm -hmm. unique to that particular itinerary and unique to that particular person. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what we stand for. Awesome. So in today's environment, I mean, I can just imagine that you're seeing an increased demand in your services. Oh, absolutely. Yes, we've been in business since uh, two, 2003, so it's been 14 years running. And uh, what we realized that uh, uh, if you if you poll uh, people about the visa services, 10 out of 10 people would prefer to travel without any visas than to use the best visa services on the planet Earth. And uh, we, uh, we submitted to that, uh, and uh, we call it uh, elimination through automation. So we essentially eliminate completely uh, research and fulfillment from the process. So it, uh, we make it uh, frictionless for, for the travelers to travel across the border. And uh, um, the, the, well, the demand, as you phrased it, right, it, it comes with uh, awareness and uh, uh, we are very grateful to GBTA to give us this platform uh, to amplify our vo voice and uh, make... Uh, um, Even to let people know that you're out absolutely. there. Absolutely, yes. And that the service that's, is available. That's what drives the, the, yes, awareness drives the demand. Yeah, you know, because I would think a lot of people don't even realize that they can get help for visa services. You are right. So talk to me about the different types of visa travel services that you have and how it benefits a, travel, a managed travel program. Okay, uh, so, well, this is very deep subject. So mm -hmm. just uh, for the sake of simplicity, yeah. uh, I would say I would classify this into two uh, major categories. Uh, one would be some, something without integrations to the booking systems and uh, one with integrations. So uh, we are trying to get everyone to the boat of integrations because it makes uh, total sense. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, a great uh, run with uh, Concur. Uh, Visa HQ uh, was uh, awarded the uh, best partner of the year oh, as a newcomer. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, we see a huge uh, uh, adaptation uh, uh, from clients that are using the, the integrations uh, um, and to answer your question it does help uh, with uh, uh, with compliance mm -hmm. uh, it does help uh, with the uh, cost of travel so you don't get those missed trips because uh, someone forgot to um, apply for a visa or research the visa requirements um, it there comes the reputation of the company uh, when someone, you know, that could be as something very trivial when technician needs to go in service and the technician cannot go because of uh, not getting the visa on time. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously the, the emotional toll on people when, uh, when they apply for visas. So real quick, I just wanted to know very briefly, um, how has innovative technology changed the way you service a business traveler? 
Okay, very quick, one word, seamlessly. That's, that's yeah. the word that I would go with. So if you think about, uh, uh, if you think about the um, uh, travel world now, right? Uh, it takes uh, one tap on your screen yeah. to move from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we are about. And I'm very optimistic about the trajectory. And uh, if, you, if you think, uh, if you combine two words, uh, travel and seamless, I think we are getting down to teleportation, right? <laughs> so, uh, and uh, fear not. That's what they should feel like exactly. when they Exactly, I'm a very right? futuristic person, so fear not. If teleportation becomes a reality, Visa HP will be there <laughs> and provide the visas for teleportation services. So. Well, Oleg Nadarov, thank you so much you for joining it. me today. And that's all from us here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio. See you thank next you, time. Caitlin.